Online criminals are continuously developing new techniques to deceive or take advantage of users to look at Q-rishing, a type of phishing that employs QR codes to fool victims into sharing data or downloading apps. We will explore Q-rishing attack tendencies and evolutions mechanisms, explain how they work, suggest ways to prevent them, and emphasize the importance of due diligence for guarding against this new emerging threat. Understanding Q-rishing attacks, crishing, the combination of QR code and phishing. These attacks are often composed of the following steps. Distribution. Hackers disseminate QR codes to the end user through emails on social media websites, on real printed collaterals, posters, flyers, etc., or through fake websites. Many times they offer discounts, free deals, or access to content to attract users into scanning the codes. Fraud. When scanning QR codes, users are redirected to a fake website or page that replicates the layout of other websites or services. Such turned out to be the case with those alluring websites that ask you to enter your login details, your name, address, or credit card number, pretending that you're verifying your account or registering to gain access to the content. Exploitation. People's details, after being provided by users, get collected by cybercriminals for identity or financial fraud or also allow access to an account that does not belong to them. It is possible that helpful software can also send to the victim's device some kind of malicious software, malware, or ransomware. Current trends in Q-rishing. Attacks patterns show a rise in Q-rishing attacks because of QR code popularity. With the adoption of the QR codes by other industries like retail, food and beverage, and marketing sectors, the chance or exposure for a cybercriminal to abuse this technology is arising. Remote work and digital transformation. The consequence of work from home and digital transformation post-COVID-19 pandemics has resulted in a personal dependence on communication mediums, which has made victims much more prone to phishing activities such as crishing. Attackers focusing on mobile devices. As smartphones equipped with QR code scanners continue to become mainstream, cybercriminals are targeting victims who might be less vigilant when scanning a QR code compared to dealing with a phishing email. Preventing Q-rishing attacks. People and organizations can minimize the risk of Q-rishing by following these steps. Be cautious. Be cautious when scanning QR codes from uninvited sources. Prior to scanning, you must validate the source of the QR code and the context where it is being used. Scan URLs. Verify any information entered in app linked to a QR code URL to make sure it is in an authentic domain. Make sure you see HTTPS and other security indicators. Use security software. Install antivirus and anti-malware software on your computers, laptops, phones, so that it identifies and blocks the QR codes or the websites. Regularly update all of your software to better protect you and your devices from threats. Training for staff. Educate staff members and users about the threat from Q-Crewishing attacks. Give them instructions about how to identify QR codes and phishing schemes and how to report them. Securely manage QR codes. Follow established practices for the handling of QR codes such as creating them via platforms doing checks on their usage and performing periodical audits of campaigns using QR codes for preventing abuses. Though it's an idea that has surfaced in cybersecurity circles, there have already been real-world cases of Q-rishing attacks documented. But there have also been cases of phishing attempts or malware distribution in which QR codes were misused. Real-life examples are QR code-based phishing scams. At the start of 2019, researchers have identified an SMS-based phishing attack where offenders have sent QR codes to mobile banking system users. These QR codes led recipients to phishing websites that aped the look and functionality of these banks' genuine websites but were intended to capture login details and other personal information. Evil QR codes on newspaper ads. It has happened that hackers have placed QR codes inside printed ads, such as newspapers or magazines. If a user scans such code, it will take him to a website with malware or a phishing website. 
taking advantage of the user's trust in the printed material. Conference badges with QR codes. Attendees at cybersecurity conferences have shown that QR codes on badges represent a security hazard. By altering either the encoded information or the redirection URL, an assailant can infiltrate the device of a passerby who scans the code to access information on the network or download malware. Fake COVID-19 Contact Tracing QR Codes During the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, cybercriminals distributed contact tracing QR codes in certain areas or via social media. The bogus codes claimed the victim was using a contact tracing app but redirected them to phishing sites or pages with malware. These examples are not entirely out of sync, and with the meaning of coerishing, they show us how criminals can use QR codes in social engineering attacks and in the spread of malware and viruses. As curishing develops as a security risk, it is important for individuals to take extra care before scanning QRs from untrustworthy and unknown sources and to use security defenses to protect themselves from danger. In summary, crishing is a trend that is growing day in and out. With the widespread adoption of QR codes, a new aspect of the crime emerges involving deception and fraud against victims. If you understand how crewishing attacks work, you can stay alert and put defenses in place that will protect you and your business from phishing attacks.